from hey you guys good to meet you sir very well i uh it's watched this morning it's 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 very good it's hard going is it hard going I, there's one thing i actually wanted to bring up with you sir you obviously you, you hit the emotional notes but you also have scenes that are literally disgusting they bring on that that sense of disgust the very medicalized the scenes the nosebleed you're talking the nosebleed and the extraction of the catheter i was you know what that is the easiest trick in the world just so you know right all he's got he's got his hand over her and the catheter is just in his hand and he just pulls it through his fingers we just put on a rather nasty kind of noise but it's it's so we're really shocked that anyone is actually dodged out by it i'm yeah. i'm curious though i mean yeah. i think it does bring something to it, but I'm curious what you think it is that is brought to it by that medicalization, or the, those things that are very medical and the very procedural with actually the sufferings. I thought it was crucial, otherwise you're just in a chocolate box world of, you know, there's a gorgeous neighbour, you know, who's, who's utterly beautiful and it's all very wonderful and we're up hills and it's all lovely. I thought you very much needed, you know, the alkali with the acid, basically. So yeah, I wanted them to be, I wanted the nosebleed, I wanted that to be as, you know, graphically unpleasant. Not graphic as in, you know, um, it's pointlessly unpleasant, but with the reason, you know, I thought it was a valid reason. How long have you been working on it for now? Uh, about three years, not too long. It's reasonably quick from the script to the screen. Um, three years, I think. Three and a half. Yeah. I'm curious, obviously, sort of last year, this time last year, 50-50 came out. Was there at any yeah. point, any moment of panic as 50-50 was out that it might have no, stolen your thought? Uh, Restless actually was the one. There's a Gus Van Sant film that, uh, that's very similar, I believe, which I haven't seen because obviously it would... You know, you try not to see things. I didn't see the bucket list either, but that's old people. But the set is a roughly similar, you know, thing. And so you try and sit, but the rest is when I heard that was happening, I was like, oh, we're just, we're doomed. But then I think apparently it's not very good. So, um, so we're fine. <laughs> not to wish anyone ill, but that was kind of a relief. <laughs> Fair enough. And, I mean, you, uh, you have a very young cast and you've, you've obviously brought in Dakota from yes, I did. America. I did. How was it, how were they working together and how was it, what do you think Dakota brought in terms of sort of to the cast as well as just the performance? What did she bring to the cast and everyone around her? Well, she's the most hardworking, dedicated actor I've ever worked with or that my wife has ever, she's extraordinarily committed to what she does. And so there's that, she's intensely professional. So that's a start. She's also brilliant. And so like Olivia, for example, didn't need to read the script. I rung Olivia, who I know slightly and said, do, would you like to be Dakota Fanning's mum? And she went, yes. And so, and probably maybe regretted it when she did read the script. So that, I mean, she brought the cast to an extent. She immediately gave the film uh, validation, both commercially, which is of less interest, but it helps to get made, but certainly artistically as well. And then on the, within the film, I think she's fantastic. So. How far in advance was it that you brought her on board? About a year and a half, I think. So quite early on in the process, she read it actually and got in touch with me. I hadn't thought of going to America and looking there. So she chased it, which was great but very her, and so yeah, she came to me and I was great. I mean, I met her within two minutes off of the park. So. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah.